Hey guys, so sorry that was absolutely horrifying. I, I didn't expect what I would look like upside down, but as you guessed it, I'm going to be doing the upside down makeup challenge inspired by Mikey. And as she did, I will sit up every so often. I literally look like a chipmunk. My cheekbones are just gone right up to my eyes. I'm also hanging off the edge of my bed. My bed, I've got a new bed, so as far as the mattress part goes, I've got a new bed. It's just a little bit high up. <laughs> I'm going to be getting through my basic makeup as always, and again, now and again, be sitting back up again. I literally look like one of um, Casper the Friendly Ghost's uncles, the skinny one. I'm pretty sure he was the ringleader. I do help myself some hair research. Anyway. <sighs> So I don't quite know where Mikey had her um, products set up. I'm, I have mine on my bed. They just been my beauty sponge and that almost ended badly. So I'm basically just doing this video until I wait for a forever to arrive makeup product. Um, rephrase. Forever to arrive genuine parcel for another bit that I want to do. I also brought a mirror with me. I don't know why I keep trying to use the viewfinder and <laughs> my mirror is too far away. Hold on a second, my gosh, I seriously look like some sort of an evolutionary creature. Okay. How did Mikey actually look good upside down? I'm seriously looking like a purple people eater because obviously the thought of it is rushing to my head. Maybe the video blender would help, you know, split around the blood again. Obviously that's wishful thinking. Can't wait till I edit this and I'll obviously flip myself around. Just realise this how creepy I really look. I mean, I do have a basic idea with the viewfinder. As I was getting my makeup ready on my bed, I was thinking to myself, okay, what the hell is my steps? <laughs> right, that's why you were ready. Okay, now we're back. I'm just liking is automatic forehead wrinkles. It's certainly do accentuate the under eye bags that I don't actually have. Okay, so up next is powder. I don't know if Mikey had her makeup on the floor or if she had it on her couch, because I know that she did her makeup on her couch. She states in the video, I obviously wasn't there with her. So every single step I complete, I will sit back up again. Pretty much the same way that Mikey did. And this foundation is the exact accurate shade to my skin tone, so I don't really bother too much with the neck. Okay, up next is now brows. Diving in with my ABH pomade. That'd be interesting just to do have some brow stubble coming in. So I'm going to keep them straight just because my forehead is lifted. Doesn't mean to go for high arch brows. <sighs> Try to relax my forehead. I just end up creasing my brows together. Uh, partially went in the wrong direction. You probably can't tell upside down, but I certainly can. Well, I mean, I'm right way up for you guys, editing wise. But for me, obviously, I haven't digitally flipped myself around in real time. I'm thinking, what's poking me in the nose? It's just my fingernail. Because there is a crease happening from the pressure of you know, my being upside down, I can't tell if that's thick or if that's just shadow. It's not helping me out at all. I'm starting to look... I'm just saying, I'm starting to look like a Chinese person. Obviously I find them adorable and beautiful. Somehow I was slipping down from my mattress a little bit. I'm going to go in with the uh, XA Beauty Behead Cosmetics palette. Add something in the eye. It's going in with my ABH brush. I'm not too sure which palette it's from, either Renaissance or Subculture. It's easier away. I'm going to take some of the terracotta. Oh, getting to the crease is going to be interesting. Just close the eyes. Pretty sure that's what is what the bit. Pretty sure that is what Maggie did. Try to say that the German accent didn't come out as planned. That's what. <laughs> I tapped it off. Yeah, a little bit more on this side. Keep things uniform. That's a little bit better. 
Okay, now I'm gonna take my other XA Beauty blender brush and what am I doing? Not blanking anymore. I'm going to blend it out so it's a bit more seamless and softer. By the time I resurface, I'm probably going to have a very, very epic eye type shape. I'm going in with some of with my eyeshadow brush. Going in with some of toasted and crease again. That's a subtle shade. That's good. It's always a wise idea to build up the shades, not go in hand with every single shade unless you're going for a uber dramatic look straight away or it's Halloween. I don't want to blend that away completely so I'm just going to go in with a little bit more but I'm not going to worry about tapping off. And that's what I wanted. <laughs> At least the bonus part is, like like I said, you won't get that much fallout. They get full down though. Okay, back in with my blending brush because I clearly apparently need it. And now I'm going to go in with some of Silhouette. It's obviously the black shade. Try to focus it right near to me. I have to go in with some of terracotta on the double lash line in the shadow side of the brush. Which this part should honestly be a breeze. Even when you're upside down, you're still making this face. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with some of Clarity, which is the off-white shade. And I get to close my eyes again. to remind myself it isn't a skull from Cat Von D. It's a lot more subtle than that. But speaking of shimmery shades, I'm going to now take some all of Holy Grail. As you can see, I worship this colour. Shade. Whatever. In a corner. Suddenly American. Let's say I have way more Texan. I'm right, now to switch the camera over just for this little bit. Sit back up. Reevaluate the head, the face, and I'll be right back. Okay, now to get in with the colors of these lashes. Ah, oh, challenge. Okay, now I'm going to go in with some eyeliner. This is a Gigi Hadoop one. It's a felt tip liner, so it should be easy. So nobody ever. I possibly jinxed myself. Definitely gonna be a nice thick bold wing, that's for sure. Now just to do the same thing on the other side. I can't see anything on the other side because my ring light isn't as opaque. I thought I adjusted it enough.
since I've given myself a whole new inner corner without even trying. Alright, same thing with this one then. I'm expecting the worst. Never mind. We can try and take this swing up a bit. Okay, that's as good as that's getting. Now for some mascara. And again, with a random American accent. That sounds Texan once again. Okay, so for my lashes now, I'm going to go in with the Romantic from XA Beauty single set with my red one lash glue. This is going to be so interesting. Okay, one is successfully out of the packet, as you just saw. Probably that was in frame. Lash glue is sadly running out. Finally down. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's about as honest as getting. I think this side is a bit loose though. The rest of it isn't going anywhere. I can actually feel it is hanging rather loose. So it is just a little bit shorter than the other because I accidentally broke off a piece. Helps no one. This size part is coming out looking a little bit better because it's already down to size and it's just generally smaller. Now for mascara. I am literally spread eagle right now. Okay, so for mascara, it's definitely going to be Maybelline Lash Sensational. So just slowly so you don't poke yourself in the eye. Contour. Oh. oh, the contour I wanted to use just fell out of the palette. Just like we want to buy a Kylie, um, Kylie palettes, the um, diary one. When I had, sorry you guys speak a little loose. When I had opened up palettes, so one of the shades came flying out. Still making contouring happen. It's also going to be, you know, rubbing dirt on my face as well because my floor is a little bit dirty. Okay, now for the jawline. Just to make it obvious where my jawline is. Something upside down, I've been looking like an egg this whole time. Okay, hopefully no, no other shade falls out, but now we're going in with uh, this shade here. For some bronzing. <sighs> I made that way too harsh. <laughs> for lips, I am going to go in with Marie from Exo Beauty, which also happens to be my middle name, just not spelled the same way. This lip pencil is spelled with an I E, mine is with a double E. It is the second last step. Anything coming off? Alright, that's a nice new tone for one person. I'm gonna finish everything off with some of Holy Grail just to highlight. That I'm still looking like an evil looking Casper's uncle. Let's revert me back around and let's now see the finished product in the mirror. Okay, I have seen myself a little bit in the viewfinder now and again. Also looking a little bit like Jenna Marbles with her um, intense roots and 
Ooh, tense roots and bleach blonde hair. Well, it is eventually stuck down, but it's hanging really, really low. And yeah, the eyeshadow game is actually really good. Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> this side is looking very, very smoky, obviously. Brows, I look like I'm raising this brow a little bit. Oh, this eyeliner is a tragedy. Blush isn't as on as I thought it was, like it's sticking up a little bit. Itself and the lining itself is a lot neater than this side. Face. And the face is a bit of a pass. It's actually really, really good. Also, don't mind all this hair sticking up. My own natural hair has got a bit of texture. Not the point. I think that these lashes have a little bit of glitter stuck in them. Am I in focus? I think they have a little bit of glitter stuck in them, so they're looking a bit obvious compared to everything else. Now it's just got like eyeliner all here. And that is... <laughs> Are we seeing that? It is literally curved upwards. A French man's beard a moustache. Yeah, but looking like each other marbles a lot, so I didn't realise that when I put my hair up. I still look like I'm raising a brow a little bit. <laughs> but thank you all so much for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it and have fun watching it and watching me look like um, Casper's uncle body double. <laughs> thank you all so much for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it for what it was worth and I shall see you all in my future videos. Bye bye! Let me try that again. Bye bye!